Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look At Sir You Are Being Hunged? Hunst? I'm never good at reading these crazy fonts. Of course, I'm just being silly. This is Sir You Are Being Hunted. This is a game that a lot of people have been talking about over the past few months and a lot more people have been talking about recently. The impetus for that being that it has just entered early access. This is available on Steam or on the Humble Store, which you can find uh, links to one or both of those in the video description below if you're interested in picking it up for $20. And of course, it's worth noting that this is currently in development, so everything that you see is subject to change over the entire course of development. I know that uh, one of the developers was telling me that there's at least six months of extra content planned from this point on. So this is by no means a finished product, but it is available. And what is Sir You're Being Hunted? I've talked a little bit about its availability so far, its distribution. Who cares about that, Northern Lion? Just tell me the game. It's not like I'm going to spend money on it anyway. I know your tricks, fans, in any case. Uh, this is a stealth sandbox survival game. I was thinking about how to pitch it when I was making my coffee this morning, and it's a little bit like... You could say it's like Don't Starve meets Slender to a certain extent, and I know many of you are rushing to YouTube already uh, to create your face cam rage throughs. Uh, but rest assured, you should stay and watch a little bit longer, because I had a lot of positive things to say about the game. I got a few flaws as well. Overall, I've enjoyed my time with Sir You Are Being Hunted, and it's a game that I have not really seen many kind of contemporaries aping, if that makes sense. Or I haven't seen many other kinds of games that are like this, and especially that give me the same kind of tension and anxiety that this does. Uh, but first things first, I'm gonna have to accident well, not accidentally, but repeatedly, occasionally, stop my recording and then stitch it together in post, because, uh, Fraps has a weird interaction with the game. Whenever I try to load into a new world, it will, uh, basically break the game. So I'm just gonna turn off Fraps, and I will see you guys on the other side of this dimensional rift. Alright, so here we are in the world of Sir, Sir You Are Being Hunted. I am going to unpause it here, uh, and I'll explain just what the heck is going on. So this is a first person stealth sandbox survival mode, uh, and there's a couple of things we should talk about on our interface quickly. I just paused it because there is a day-night cycle, so uh, I don't know how long each day takes. It seems like it's much shorter than in a game like Don't Starve or Minecraft, on the order of maybe five or six minutes to go from day to night. But in any case, uh, we have our visibility meter. This is pretty much self-explanatory. If we crouch, it lowers our visibility, and uh, the higher our visibility is, the more kind of red circles uh, expand out from this eye. So if it's just the eye, then we're basically invisible to our pursuers, who I'll talk about momentarily. We also have a health bar and a vitality bar. Now, normally games only have one of the two. I'll explain that basically uh, the vitality bar is a hunger meter, so we do it, it goes down and we have to replenish our vitality by eating stuff that we find. Uh, and our health is like our physical well-being. Our health constantly ticks upwards towards 100, which is the max level, uh, as long as our vitality is high. So as long as we're not hungry, our health improves. Uh, we can also sometimes get status effects. We can be bleeding, which causes us to need to bandage ourselves, etc., etc. St fairly standard uh, survival game tropes. Now... Uh, this little thing right here is both a save point and kind of the impetus uh, for the rest of the game. So uh, we need to find these fragments. We've essentially, there's been a scientific experiment that's gone terribly wrong. We've been teleported to this world where all of these angry, noble robots are after us, hunting us as if we are the world's most dangerous game. In order to get back, we've got to find these fragments that look like this thing down here, uh, just under our inventory. Uh, and insert them into the central stone. You can see I've found three of them so far. There's 22 remaining, and there's six on this island. Uh, so there are multiple islands. Uh, they function as kind of archipelagos. or I mean, we are on an archipelago, so we have to take a boat to go from island to island. Uh, but apart from that, we're just going to wander around, hopefully find the stones, and evade our pursuers. So as of right now, I I've picked up a few inventory items. This is a game that I've played. Uh, this world specifically I've played for about 15 minutes, so I picked up a couple of stones. One second, I thought I heard some robots. Um, I picked up a couple of stones, uh, and I'm hopefully going to pick up some more now. This is a game that I apologize for stopping my commentary occasionally, but it is necessary to kind of keep your ears out and make sure that it's either the crunching of the ground beneath your feet, not the uh, chattering of robots. Because basically, we are being pursued right now by a number of... Uh, hunter style robots yes we will take a flask of lukewarm tea everything else in here is not really that necessary maybe we'll take the empty bottle because we can use that uh as a distraction item this is a game where combat is possible i mean you have seen that i have a gun i can use that to shoot the robots but it's actually a bad idea by the way i don't know what's up with those fairies well i, I shouldn't say you know first off they're probably wisps i don't want to say too much about what they do in their free time uh but the, uh, you know, combat is a possibility. Use my binoculars to peer at distant scenery. Make sure there's nothing scary over there. Um, and we'll take some more tea with us. What's up with this train? I've never seen that before. Uh, nothing else is really necessary here. Um, 
Yeah, combat is sometimes necessary if you find yourself in an otherwise unwinnable situation. But uh, you really want to take the stealthy approach because these robots that are hunting us, you know, it is kind of like running into Slenderman or something. There's almost no winning, especially when ammo is extremely limited. We only have six shots right now, obviously. By the way, I'm, I can't believe I haven't learned this already, but I'm not sure if you can shoot birds and then eat their meat. You can cook meat. I know there are places where you can start fires in the game. So hopefully we will, we will run into some aggressors soon. I believe that these wisps are sort of taking us to, or guiding us to, uh, other areas. Uh, or areas of significance. So some of them might be fragments that we can get, and some of them might be, uh... Yeah, there's a fragment over there, you can tell by the smoke. And some of them might be boats, like this one, that we can use to go to another island. But we're not gonna go to any more islands right now. Uh, because again, it'll cause the game to crash when we're recording with fraps. So I'm just gonna do some reconnaissance work. I assure you guys that although I have not run into any aggressors yet, uh, this is not Proteus, you know, this is not Gone Home. There's combat in this game, there is adversarial AI that you will absolutely have to deal with, and, uh, you know, the other adversary is your inventory, which is really small, so you can't really carry that much stuff at once. So, the, uh, core mission objective, by the way, I love the way that the sunset looks in this game. Dusk is very, very pretty, uh, in Sir, You Are Being Hunted. So we'll grab our uh, fragment and then we'll take it back to our uh, central stone here. And then we'll be able to save the game and we'll be one stone closer to getting home. Okay. So there is a hunting party that we're going to want to stay away from. And unfortunately, our path is kind of going to take us near them. You can see on our compass here, about halfway between south and west is where our um, central stone is. It does have those indicators on your compass to help you get back from where you started. So we're just going to keep an eye out. Luckily, the robots are very visible. They are totally frightening as well once they get up close to you. Uh, you will die very, very quickly no matter what gun you have. But if you can take them out, you know, I found this pistol in a house. If you can take out the robots, probably not from afar like I'm trying to do right now, um, but if you take them out up close or you manage to beat them in a scuffle, you can get a shotgun or a rifle, and that'll give you a much better chance of success. But uh, again, ammo is very, very limited. So, we've managed to evade them, and you know, they're not superhuman, despite being robots. Sometimes, uh, they can spot you from afar, but most of the time, if you can kind of plan your route accordingly, it's better to just evade them than to get up close and personal. But I have had some really tense moments where I just completely snuck up on them in the tall grass, and, uh, was able to take a fragment and then run away without them even noticing. By the way, running away, very viable, uh, course of action in this game. So that's a pretty good example of just the fetch quest sort of nature of this game. And if, if anything, that's kind of one complaint I have about it. I thought I just heard a robot there. That's one complaint that I have about it is that it is a little bit um, repetitive, just constantly getting this stuff over and over. I'm just going to talk over the voice work, which I apologize for. But uh, despite the fact that it's repetitive, it's still a lot of fun. Let's uh, drink this tea, which will hopefully improve our health. Yeah, it did. It took us back to 100. Uh, and that will allow us to... Uh, get a, uh, or free up some inventory space is essentially what I was getting at here. So yeah, it's a little bit repetitive in nature, and in some ways it kind of feels like a thin veneer of purpose over top of most sandbox game, which are, sandbox games, which are essentially, you know, or not sandbox even necessarily, but survival games, which are essentially, you know, the player sets his own, uh, conditions for victory, you know, in a Minecraft, maybe you're saying like, oh, I want to build this house in a, um, Don't Starve, you're like, I want to get the next level of technology, uh, but in this, you, you actually do have a, a driving purpose. And you can see that as a positive or a negative. I think it's a, it's a middling prospect, shall we say. I like that there's a driving purpose. Sandbox games have gotten a little bit tired to me uh, as a result of the fact that you can kind of do anything. Find if I am given the option to do anything, sometimes I will just choose to, you know, be overwhelmed and do nothing instead. Which is not my favorite kind of gameplay. Although I know a lot of people are into it. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, so, you know, there's positives and negatives. I kind of wish it was a more engaging quest, but it still works well. The only problem is that there's so many damn uh, fragments to pick up. Did they just... Did they see me there? Oh my god, I have... I just saw a silhouette of an enormous robot in the background that I have never seen before, and that scares the shit out of me. One second, I'm going to turn up my volume. You guys can probably hear it better than I can. <laughs> there is... Even though I've been relatively calm so far... That may fly out the window uh, if we encounter some large robots. Or even just any robots, if they find me. I'm going to find myself in some dire straits pretty soon. This is a game I expect to be covered extensively 
uh, by the YouTube crowd that likes uh, doing horror games. I don't mean that derisively either. Oh, shit. I don't mean that derisively either. I mean, there's a lot of uh, anxiety and tension inherent in the game. We're going to get the fuck out of the way. Now, we could... Um, let's just see what we got here. This wooden hatchet might be important, but it also takes up a ton of inventory space. Um, we could pick that up and move it around, and we could still have enough space for a fragment, which is 4 by 4 uh, We also have this kind of... This narrator is like our scientific assistant, but there's also a little bit of a dire overtone. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's also a little bit of a dire overtone to the way that he talks and the words that he says to us. Guys, I'm really scared. Okay, so here's the hunting party. There's four of them. At least. Oh, God! Okay, <laughs> sorry. There was a... Uh, they found me. It's because of that dog. I didn't realize... Oh, God! What is that thing? I've never seen that goblin before. Okay, run away, run away, run away. This is what we should... Oh, my God. How many of them are there? This open field is not the best place to be. So if we get hit and we start bleeding, uh, which is easy to see... We'll have to bandage ourselves up. So I'm just getting in the tall grass here in the hopes that they can't see me. Um, oh, God. They're chasing me down. So, Oh, my God. The dog get on me? Yeah, I got hit by a dog here. So I'm definitely going to die. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I'm just going to bleed out. I had to try to put bandages on myself there, but I didn't have time. So that's an example of how quickly things can go wrong. So we can see our stats here. I was live for 20 minutes, which is, includes the earlier playtime. Slayed two robots, which you didn't see. Uh, drunk some tea. Didn't cook any animals, didn't spring any traps. You can get bear traps and stuff in the game as well. Uh, I'm going to load into my last save and we'll do one more run. Because it is uh, kind of variable in nature every single time. You're not always going to run into a huge hunting party like that. That's the first time I've ever run into a hunting party that large. Um, and, you know, there's some, you know, it's different every time. It's got procedural or randomized elements. Probably procedural. I don't want to, you know, talk the game up more than it actually is or more than the reality is. But in any case, again, it's going to cause an issue with traps. So I'll be back in just a second here. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Obviously, we are still playing Sir, You Are Being Hunted. It's weird to me, because, you know, I take a short break, but uh, you're probably watching this immediately afterwards, which, in which case, good for you. Thank you very much for supporting me and not just closing the video when I went to do that editing. Uh, one of the things I have not talked about, which is a relatively major element uh, of Sir, You Are Being Hunted, or at least a significant element uh, from a gameplay standpoint, is you can also, like, cook meat. I haven't talked about this at all yet. There's a dog after me. No, not yet. Not yet, dog. No! I've murdered the dog. Can I loot him? I'm sorry, Buster, but, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. I'm hoping those gunshots don't attract anybody. Wow, we may have gotten exceptionally lucky there. Um, yeah, so there are different robot types. Uh, you also saw the kind of hot air balloon that is a, a surveillance unit. Dogs. I've never seen that enormous robot that we saw before, and I ran away from him immediately because I was very concerned. But yeah, there are... Uh, occasionally we'll find... Uh log piles, and if we get matches as well, which I don't believe we have in our inventory right now. No, we don't. If we get matches, though, uh, we can use those to uh, light a log pile. It'll draw attention to us, but it'll also cook meat, and cooked meat uh, improves your vitality more than uh, raw meat does. So what I'm ostensibly doing right now is uh, some reconnaissance work, just trying to see if there's any kind of smoke plumes that I can use to gauge where we are, or whether there's a, a fragment nearby. And unfortunately, it appears not, but there is a very large building over here, which maybe has some useful supplies for me. Uh, as much as I, you know, kind of talked about Slender and Don't Starve being influences, there's also a real element of, of day Z here in that things can go wrong really, really quickly, and you spend most of your time by yourself, really anxious, and, and looking for better loot. Uh, I've never seen this area before, so I'm hoping there's uh, some fragments nearby. This is not... A building that I can use to uh, get some loot from so we'll just run and uh, you know running is obviously a, a risk versus reward strategy high risk but it also allows us to move much more quickly and it appears there is another town over there and I'm not gonna be going to any of the other archipelagos or, other, or the other islands in this archipelago uh, but suffice it to say you know you get on a boat and then you travel to an island that looks much like this one uh, and then ooh, can I take that rock I cannot uh, you go to an island that looks much like this one, and then look for fragments again. And, uh, it seems like the game gets more and more difficult by spawning more and more enemies, uh, as time goes on. So, 
We'll let the birds fly away here. Overall, I've had a good time with uh, Sir You Are Being Hunted, and I have to admit that I've been having a better time the more time I spend with it. Uh, I think I initially jumped in and was like, yeah, let's do this, like a uh, sandbox style survival game, and like pew pew, pick up the gun, start shooting robots, died over and over and over again. But when I started playing it, more splinter celly, I had a lot more fun with it. And I wouldn't necessarily say it's a perfect game. I do kind of, I mean, I suffer from a certain sense of aimlessness sometimes when I play it, especially once I'm on, you know, Island A and I've gotten most of the fragments, then it takes me a long time uh, to find the remaining fragments because there's no kind of inventory or m map. I shouldn't say inventory. There's no map that tells us where the fragments are. We just have to kind of wander around and look for smoke, which is cool. I mean, that improves immersion, but by the same token, I also spend a lot of my time being like, I don't know where to go. Have I been here? Since the areas do look so samey, uh, sometimes I can get myself turned around pretty easily. Apart from that, though, that's really the only major concern I have. I think the uh, AI is fantastic and completely unforgiving. It's a totally cool aesthetic, and uh, particularly killer robots hunting you as gentlemen nobles might have in the Victorian era is a, uh, a style of enemy I don't think I've ever seen before in my entire life. So I'm just using my binoculars to peer at distant scenery here in the hopes that we can find some smoke plumes. I don't know if there's any behavior to the uh, fragments. Like, I don't know if they tend to spawn near populated areas. I don't know if they tend to spawn near towns or near coasts or whatever. Right now, I've already defaulted to my DayZ playstyle, haven't I? It's just, you know, spawn on the coast and then run along it until you come across somebody that you can gank and then take his uh, resources with you. Uh, there's no boat over here either. Again, I can't get on the boat and go to another island because it'll crash fraps. It's just a unity issue. It's not like the game has performance issues or anything like that, uh, at least in my experience so far. But as, as always, your mileage might vary. So here I go, sprinting through the uh, brush here. Might as well check out that town. And I kind of want to get into some real conflict with the robots just to show you uh, how bad of an idea it is, even though you did see kind of a semblance of it earlier. I will say beautiful environments as well. Particularly the lighting is really nice, but the game does very well with its colors. Everything is kind of an autumnal hue to it and an autumnal feel to it, which is nice. So it'd be very pleasant to look at most of the time. I do not see any robots, which tells me we are probably in the same area we used to be in. And that's, again, uh, that ties into my principal flaw with the game, or my principal woe with the game so far, which is mostly like, you know, I, I get turned around a lot. So we're going to fall into the, the water here. You can also swim. I don't know if you can swim island to island. Uh, I doubt that you can because there's uh, loading screens between the islands when you take the boats. But maybe it loads in as you do it. I'm not going to try it here again because I don't want to, you know, wish death on this video. Let's climb out of the water here and hopefully... Okay, seriously? You're going to be out there? I can't go out there. Oh, there's smoke right here. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, I got a little... Uh, a little rowdy, a little ahead of myself, and uh, one of these robots has more or less spotted me. Just want to get a good look at him. And now, let's try another element of the game, which is, uh, you know, fairly standard in stealth games, but uh, we'll use a distraction item here to hopefully trick the enemy. Oh, didn't didn't work! <laughs> Let's use another one. Throw this bad boy over there. It'll make some noise and we'll be able to get away. Nope, they totally see me. Run. Run for your life. Okay, so we have five bullets in our gun. That means I can miss once and still survive. So let's just sneak around them here. My visibility is still really high. I really need some tall grass. Robots are quick, by the way. Oh, they totally see me. I, okay, I'm bleeding. Let's uh, bandage up quickly. Uh, so we'll just use those. That'll stop the bleeding. I should really... Oh, God! <laughs> I should really eat something as well. Your shots! You're not the most talented marksman in the world, also. I should point that out. I don't know what... Oh, that... We're shooting. That's why I was doing that. Okay, so... Oh, we did, I can't bandage up! I can eat this ham, though, but I'm gonna bleed out. So that is... We might as well loot this guy. Robot, where have you gone? I want to loot you and show off the delicious goods you can sometimes get when you kill enemies. Goodbye, cruel world. Might as well jump in the water. All right, so that's going to do it for my Let's Look at If Sir You Are Being Hunted. I like it so far. Um, as always, you know, it kind of comes down to are you the kind of person who is comfortable paying $20 for a game that is still in development, a game that's not complete yet and is subject to change? If you are, consider checking it out on Steam Early Access or uh, at the Humble Store. 
One or two of those links will be in the video description below. I'd encourage you to check it out. Uh, there's no multiplayer yet, but there is multiplayer planned, which would be totally awesome. As is, the single player is engaging. If you have a, kind of a stealth itch, I think this will scratch it. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of promise for this in the future. It's not necessarily a must-purchase in its current state, but definitely intriguing concept. And this is a, an intriguing proof of that concept, I would say. And I'm going to be looking forward to checking it out more often throughout its development. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me get scared and a little bit rattled, which doesn't happen all that often. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.